once a month, I do a big giant grocery haul where I go to Target and Costco and buy everything our family needs to eat and miscellaneous, supply, miscellaneous supplies that can last in the fridge, freezer, or pantry for at least 30 days. The goal is to keep the food budget under 430 and the miscellaneous under 160. Do you guys wanna come shopping with me today and see what it looks like? Welcome back Pearls, I'm Brittany and this is Pennies Into Pearls where you can come for weekly inspiration, motivation and tips to help you create a better life for your family but without having to stress about money. So you might have tried over and over and over and over again how to budget or start a budget for your family but you're like why can't we stick to this, what's the deal? Well, chances are it's your lifestyle that needs to have some small adjustments to match the budget, or you might need some help figuring out how to work those big exciting goals into your budget. This is where you're gonna get all that information. It's gonna help you be able to be more intentional with your money so you can actually live an exciting life and stop living paycheck to paycheck. So if you haven't already, click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. All right, so I'm going to Target first and then we'll head to Costco. I'm gonna take you guys with me in store and show you every single item that I'm buying in my Target haul and in my Costco haul. And the most important part is I'm gonna show you exactly how much every single thing cost um, and then give you the grand totals to see if we can stick in budget. I've got my list right here and currently I am about $10 over um, and I am dipping a little bit into the miscellaneous budget to cover additional costs for um, some fun things I want to get with our food budget so I kind of am using those a little bit loosely today um, also I get a lot of people who don't believe me which is just why don't you believe me some people just don't think that this is actually what our family's eating off of yes and to show you that it can be done, I have a monthly meal plan that I pull together um, and share in my meal planning on a budget membership site. I'll leave a link for that. And I also gave you a preview in my most recent um, or my most previous video. I show you um, what a week of meal planning looks like and kind of like how the fresh groceries and things like that work to coordinate all of that all together. I know you're gonna have questions about, well, where's the meat? Where's the fresh produce? Check the links down below. All right, let's go to Target. I recently started bringing a clipboard with me into the store and I love it. I need to get some like special pearl edition clipboards or something, don't you think? I've done a video that shares our tip on how we stick to the budget, especially when there's all these like unplanned things that come up, right? Those come up all the time. So, so I'll link that video down in the description box. Today's grocery haul, you'll have a really good example of all those like miscellaneous items that I set aside all month long and wait for this monthly grocery haul. First up, we are looking for treats to keep the puppy busy when I'm getting ready in the morning. So I don't wanna buy a big giant thing of anything until I know that he likes it. So we're gonna try out these Busy Beggin Twisted, I don't know, treats for $2.69. This is the carpet cleaner that I've been using forever to get out all stains, but yes, we do have a puppy, so we've been going through it a lot faster. It's $4.99 for 22 ounces. I bought the, long, the wrong ones last month, so oh, so frustrating. And I had opened them and everything, so I can't return them. But anyways, so a 12 pack of the Scotch Bright refills for $6.49. I've gotten this one in the past, but it just feels so harsh. So I'm gonna give this one a try, the Vino Positively Radiant. Um, I'm hoping it's a little like softer on my skin. It's $5.69 for five ounces. We're in need of some new elastics, $2.50 for $17. Actually, I think I'm gonna go with this one. That makes more sense, right? Same price. Yay, it's been forever since they've had construction paper. So let's see, this is 200 sheets for $349, almost $1.50 more for an extra 40 sheets. So this, I believe, is the better price. Um, 200 sheets for $349. Shampoo for the kids. I need to look into a good one that's really good for super dry scalps. I don't wanna use head and shoulders on them because it's just so harsh. But I know this isn't a good choice either. I don't know. Do you guys have any recommendations? My kid's scalp is so dry. 
This was $1.99 for 30 ounces. $4.69 for some more hair gel for hubby. That's a six ounce bottle. $3.99 for three in one men's citrus brush, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. My nighttime routine, I have recently realized how important it is to help get a good night's rest. So I'm looking for a calming um, body wash because I take a shower at night. And so I've come to this one. It's not like my favorite. It does have like natural ingredients for the most part, as far as I can tell. It's $6.99 for 18 ounces. And for the kids, this is the Dr. Teal's body wash with lavender. Um, I'm hoping they can put it in their bath and it'll help them kind of calm down at night. 24 ounces for $4.99. $2.39 for low fat cottage cheese and that is 24 ounces. $2.99 for the Mountain High Vanilla Yogurt. Have you guys tried these Oikos Triple Zero um, Greek Yogurt? They're delicious. They have 15 grams of protein in each one. I think about five grams of sugar in each one six grams of sugar in the blueberry and then um what else zero fat so they're delicious they're a great healthy treat especially if you add some like protein granola um anyways it's good to know that they have a four pack for three dollars here at target because at walmart they're a dollar each always stocking back up on our favorite bagels there are six of them for 3.99 no 2.99 2.29 for 32 ounces of crinkle cut french fries. I'm gonna get three of these loaves of wheat bread for $1.59. We're gonna make some French toast for the freezer and some freezer um, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I actually have a whole video on it. I'll link it. $2.59 for 24 ounces of the um, Market Pantry Ranch. Two cans of black refried beans for 79 cents each. $1.69 for 28 ounces of enchilada sauce. Two cans of green chilies for 65 cents each. 14 ounces of fire roasted tomatoes for 159. And 69 cents for 15 ounces of tomato sauce. And one box of medium shell pasta for 79 cents. Two jars of simply balanced marinara sauce for 219. 499 for the Bertoli balsamic glaze. One can of pinto beans for 59 cents. Two two pound bags of powdered sugar for 179 each. I'm gonna get four of these apple cinnamon instant oatmeal packets for 159 each. And I need three cups of tomato juice, but this looks like my only option for 199. I'm pretty tired of the kids leaving the cereal boxes open and the food goes stale. So I'm gonna get one of these. $7.99 and it is 24.4 cups. All right, so that is everything that we're getting at Target. Don't forget that on your grocery shopping list, you should have estimated prices for every single item and then make corrections as you go. So that way there's no surprises at checkout and you can make sure before you get there that you're sticking to your budget. All right, hold the phone. I found these plastic bowls. They're just like very, can you hear? Plastic bowls, his and hers. So cute. Um, I think this is the perfect size for making a big, yummy, like personal salad. Like I like to eat a lot of lettuce with my salad. So I don't have any wiggle room in the budget. So what I'm gonna decide is to get these, they're $3 each, and then put this back and then put that back on my list for next month. Alrighty, back in the car. Let's take a look at the receipt. All right, so miscellaneous, I was expecting to be right around $71. You can see cleaning supplies, all that stuff I got. The total after taxes was 70, 72, 68. So there's $5 in taxes. So I came in a lot under on that one, which is great. And then for food, I was expecting it to be right around $54 after I made all my adjustments. Um, but in California, they started charging again for bags. So that added on um, a little bit, but I came out to 55, why is my nail so dirty? I'm so sorry, 55.42. So just $1 over that. So we are doing good. Now let's head to Costco. We're gonna kick Costco off with a total splurge. Have you guys ever tried these? I've seen so many people talk about them. 
They're $9 for 12 cookies. They're raspberry crumble cookies. I can't wait to try them. Make sure that you guys are following me on Instagram because that's where I do like follow up and all of the like new stuff that I'm trying. So this will be the first time I'm trying these cookies and I'll let you guys know how I like them over on Instagram. Wow, I've never noticed these two little pork tenderloins at Costco for um, $3.49 a pound. That's a really good deal. I'm gonna keep that in mind for future meal planning. So in my meal plan that you get in the membership this month for July, two of the meals you need pork roast. So I'm gonna get them here at Costco. It's a really good deal here. Oh man, I got the last one. So it comes with these four different um, pork sirloin tip roasts. They're only $1.99 a pound, which is a really great price. So it comes out to about 18 bucks for all four. So I really wanted to try this this month, but there's just no room in the budget. I think this would be such an easy, yummy way to add, um, to have a healthy lunch, like put it on a salad or something. Um, but maybe next month, it's about 20 bucks because it's 9.79 per pound. So maybe next month. So I was trying to decide which one of these sausages I want to go with for, um, for what I want. Anyways, one thing that I love Costco does is it always has this price per unit right here. There it is. So this is 38 cents per ounce, 54 cents per ounce, and then 29 cents per ounce. So that's a really easy way to compare and see which one is actually cheaper because some have like bigger portions. So I'm gonna go with these. I've never tried them. They're fully cooked smoked mozzarella and artichoke chicken sausage, $12.99 for three pounds. The kids love eating these and it's such a great snack to have with some crackers and things like that. So it's only $7.99 for four of these, eight in each one. And these can freeze and defrost really well. I usually get this salsa, it's so delicious. $6.99 for this giant tub, but I wanna mix it up this month. So we're gonna go with this medium salsa and it's only $4.99 for 48 ounces. So that's an amazing deal. Best deal on Kalamata olives anywhere. $5.99 for a two pound jar, is that right? Yeah, it, these are so good on a salad. I really wish we could get the Kirkland toilet paper and paper towels back, they're the best. But I guess I'm gonna have to settle with Bounty paper towels, 12 rolls for $20.99. So we're gonna start working in a new dog food with what our puppy's currently eating. So we'll like do half and half and slowly move over to this Nature's Domain brand. And this is 20 pounds for $15.99. 36 bags of rice crisps. This might be a new option for the kids for snacks. It's only $12.99. I'm gonna get two of these bags. These are really yummy chips. They are actually, maybe I'm just gonna get one of these and then get the jalapeno one. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And these are, um, it's a big giant 28 ounce bag and they're on sale for only $3.99 right now. I usually would get frozen strawberries, but my kids loved the smoothies I made with this last time, so $8.99 for four pounds. Okay, these will be a fun snack for everybody. They're only $8.49 on sale. There's 18 of them. These look like a really yummy, easy dinner or like quick lunch. Miso glazed cod, the ingredients, let's see. The ingredients look pretty clean and there is 24 grams of protein in each serving. Boneless, skinless chicken breast, 10 pounds for $17.99. Bubby's gonna be so excited that I'm getting the thick cut bacon. It is two one and a half pounds of thick cut and it's so good for only $11.49. $9.79 for four pounds of butter, which is a really great price for San Diego. Five dozen eggs for $8.39. $8.99 for six 16 ounce cartons of egg whites. $10.99 for two two and a half pound bags of mozzarella. $10.49 for two two and a half pound bags of shredded cheese. $16.99 for 40 ounces of our very favorite dried mangoes. $3.79 for 24 count burrito size tortillas. 
$6.99 for eight cans of black beans. These salt and pepper pistachios are delicious. $19.99 for a giant three pound bag. $8.99 for 58 ounces of goldfish crackers. $8.99 for 61 ounces of Ritz crackers. All right, there is everything. I wanted a little bit more variety of snacks for the kids, kind of like pre-packaged stuff. So I have about 20 bucks left over that I'll just keep in my wallet next time I see a good sale. All right, I made adjustments as usual for my Costco list. And I was expecting food to be about $2.69 and non-food to be about $50 with a total of $3.19 and it came out to three, let me see, three fifteen thirty seven. Do you know how much you're spending on groceries? That's the main thing. I gotta turn up the AC, it's hot in here. That's the main thing I want you to take away from this is that just want you to have a plan before you go into the grocery store and then make sure that you have that money set aside before you go into the grocery store. And meal planning is the key to making all of that happen. And if you are intentional, you are gonna save hundreds of dollars. There's so much waste and so many times through the fast food which I mean like it's the drive through is good, right? For a time and a place, but not all the time. You can save so much money, eat so much healthier. And that's why I have my meal plan ready to go for you with meal planning on a budget membership. And I do have, I share an entire week of meal planning with you in my most recent video and give you more details all about it. So don't forget to check that link down below. I do these monthly grocery hauls every single month for the most part. So don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that like button and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.